Have you ever looked around the office, rows of cubicles, the same AutoCAD drawings, the same reports, and thought, is this really it? I get it. After two years of co-ops and civil engineering, I started feeling the exact same thing. I loved solving problems, but I hated the repetition. I was scared. I thought, man, did I just waste four years and thousands of dollars on a degree I don't even want to use? Fast forward to today, and I'm living my dream, working on my own terms, and am in control of my future. Here's the truth. Your engineering degree is a launch pad. It teaches you how to think, how to deconstruct problems, and how to create systems. Skills that can take you anywhere if you put your mind to it. My name is James Hinsberger, co-founder of Cydian, where we help civil engineering firms implement AI, and I have been accepted into Velocity and make over 30000 in revenue since pivoting. I have spoken with investors and met founders and CEOs from absolutely around the world, something that would have never been possible without this pivot. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to pivot your career as a civil engineer without starting from zero and without feeling like you're throwing away your degree. I'll break it down into three steps. Understanding your transferable skills, identifying the new directions that align with those skills, and learning how to market yourself for the pivot. So first, what is the real problem? Here's what most young engineers don't realize. The reason you feel stuck isn't because engineering is boring, it's because you're doing shallow work. You're following checklists, not creating solutions. You're executing someone else's vision and not your own. That's okay, every career starts with this grunt work. But if you're someone who thrives on challenge and variety, that desk job can start feeling suffocating, just like it did for me. What saved me was realizing that my degree didn't define what I do. It defined and helped me solving hard problems and reconstructing how I think. As engineers, we're trained in first principle thinking, breaking problems into their simplest components and building solutions from the ground up. And that's the same skill Elon Musk used to revolutionize rockets and electric cars. So instead of thinking, I'm a civil engineer, start thinking, I'm a problem solver who's trained to think deeply. Where else could this skill be valuable and how are parallels drawn? Second, the hidden superpowers of engineers. Your degree gave you more than just technical knowledge. It gave you transferable superpowers. Let's say you are a rugby player. For you to switch to soccer, you already have some skills. You're not starting from scratch, and that's the same thing. Engineering draws parallels with many different industries. These superpowers include problem solving. You can take messy, complex challenges and turn them into step-by-step -step systems. That's gold in consulting, tech, and entrepreneurship. Analytical thinking. You can analyze data, find patterns, and make informed decisions. Perfect for roles in business analysis, finance, or operations. Project management. You already know how to plan, coordinate, and deliver results under constraints. That's exactly what project and product managers do. Adaptability. You've learned a universal language. Logic. Whether you're in construction, software, or startups, logical problem solving always wins. And here's what I tell young engineers. Your degree is like a Swiss army knife. Most people only ever use one blade, their job title. But if you learn how to flip out the other tools, you can suddenly realize you can build anything. You just have to find what that will be. You do not want a 16, 17, 18 year old deciding your future the next 50 years of your life because they chose a specific degree. You are not happy with where you are. You are always able to change. And the fundamentals you've learned from engineering will help you do this. Now, if you're wondering what other fields can I realistically move into, let's talk about that. An engineering degree opens doors to a surprising range of careers beyond traditional engineering. And here are a few examples. Technology. With your logical foundation, you can move into data analysis, software development, or cybersecurity, or AI development if you'd like. Business and consulting. Your analytical mindset is perfect for roles like management consultants, product managers, or business analysts. Finance. Many engineers become quantitative analysts or actuaries because math and modeling are second nature after our degrees. Management. Project and operations management are natural transitions. You're already doing those skills every day. Entrepreneurship is an option as well. Engineers have that critical thinking. They have the hard work ethic. It's just about getting that ingenuity, getting that innovative layer to get to this route. When I made my own pivot, I leaned into my strengths, problem solving and communication. I realized that the biggest weaknesses many engineers have are as follows. Fear of imperfection. Engineers are scared to be anything but perfect. They're scared to fail. 
Discomfort with rejection goes hand in hand with fear of imperfection. You do not want to get told no. We are objective thinkers and a lot of business, a lot of other domains are more subjective. So you do not like when there's no right or wrong answer. And there is more rejection in those cases because it's hard to get to perfect. And lastly, lack of communication confidence. Often engineers are introverted and they like being behind a desk. They enjoy just thinking on their own. Whereas a lot of these other industries require you to stand up and be able to speak. Once I tackled those problems, the opportunities multiplied. So the question isn't, can I pivot? It's what's stopping me from using what I already have and what do I need to learn to get to where I wanna be? Finally, how to market your pivot. Now let's get tactical. Here's a three-step plan to make your pivot successful. Translate your skills. Don't say, I designed a retaining wall. Say, I managed multi-phase design projects that required cross-team coordination and data-driven decision-making. You need to speak the language of the industry you're going into. Also, build a portfolio of proof. Don't wait for someone to hire you to start working on what you want to do. Take on small projects or online courses to show your ability to apply your skills in a new domain, whether it's coding, data visualization, or product design. Create something tangible. This is what people want to see. And network through learning. Don't just apply to jobs. Talk to people. Attend meetups. DM professionals on LinkedIn and ask how did you make your transition. People respect curiosity, and with technology and how it is today, it's easy to communicate and get in touch with people. If you can combine engineering precision with communication clarity, you become an absolute force, and I've seen it firsthand. So here's the takeaway. Your engineering degree isn't a limitation. It is leverage. It taught you how to think critically, analyze deeply, and build systematically. Those are the same skills behind every successful business, product, and innovation today. If you're ready to make your pivot, whether it's into tech business or entrepreneurship, remember this, you're not starting over. You're building on one of the strongest foundations there is. You did a great job getting here. Now let's keep moving forward. If you want help figuring out what your next step could be, I offer 30-minute career strat calls and can just talk over some different ideas. Also, make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with how AI and innovation are reshaping the civil engineering industry. We post twice a week, sharing lessons from the field and real-world transition. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, the best engineers don't just build bridges, they build futures and you should start with yours.